Hey guys, Derek Craig here, co-founder of Oilfield Basics, and I'm going to do a quick video here showing a couple parts of the rig. Uh, one of them that I want to dwell on is the monkey boards and what they are and what they do, what purpose they serve. So I'm at a local rig just a couple miles from my house, uh, pulled off the side of the road here. Um, I'm going to get as close as we can to look uh, with my camera and kind of explain to you a couple parts and so we'll dig into it. All right, so here's a view of the rig. Um, as you can see, first off is the doghouse where it says Flex Rig 371. Sorry to give it away, <laughs> but this is HSP Rig 371 by chance. Uh, that's the doghouse there, where the white part that's sticking off to the side. That's where the driller sits, and that's where the controls of the BOP or the blowout preventer are located, etc. There's more stuff in there, computers and stuff. Um, this part is just the rig floor. And of course, this is the master, the derrick. And you can actually see right now where the derrick man is up on the monkey board. So the monkey boards are right there, which sticks out. Actually, I think he kind of went behind where you can't see him right now, but he's up there. Um, that yellow thing right there is the top drive, uh, the traveling blocks and the top, top drive. So that's what's going up and down with inside the derrick. Um, that's what works pipe in and out of the hole. Um, it looks like they're about ready to start cementing operations, uh, judging by the cement trunks that are literally sitting back there waiting. <laughs> so it looks like they're trying to rig up to start cementing uh, just by chance here. But just a couple basics. Um, right there's the crown blocks up there at top. Uh, that's where all the, the pulleys are, where the, the draw works and all the, the cables uh, loop around. And that yellow part right there, that's what's going up and down within the derrick. You can see it kind of moving very slowly. They're not going very fast at all right now. It's starting to kind of lower it. Um, and then the line's off to the side there just so they can raise uh, things up to the floor, etc., whatever they need. All right, so in this video, the question is, what is the monkey boards specifically? So you can barely kind of see a white hard hat floating around up there on, on them boards. That's uh, where the derrick man stands. So. What the Derek man does, he helps rack back pipe. So I'll pull around here in just a minute and see if we can see anything, uh, if they have any pipe racked. This is kind of an awkward angle to see that. But essentially, that folds down from the rig there and it holds pipe so that they can trip in and out of the hole faster uh, so they don't have to make a connection every time. So, so they can connect three joints at a time instead of one joint. So the rig, as we see right now, is what we call a triple or a treble, meaning it holds three joints of drill pipe and it's derrick or mast, which basically means uh, one stand of drill pipe then is three joints of drill pipe. So that derrick is, can handle about roughly 90 feet of drill pipe and it, w it has more room at the top, so it's probably at least 100 foot tall uh, from the rig floor. All right, so we got a little bit of a better angle now and you can see where they have pipe racked in the back in the monkey board so you can see how i just said it was a treble rig or a triple rig where it has three stand three joints of pipe per stand you can see that there are three joints so right here's your first joint right there's your second joint and down here's your third joint so three joints of pipe make up the stand and those are roughly about 90 feet long each so what the derrick man does and i think he's still up there but you just can't see him he'll climb up the ladder there and go across and of course he has um and everything on. He has cables hooked to him. There he goes. Actually, you're going to get to see him in action. Kind of. You can't really see it, but basically that top drive will raise up pipe to him. It'll pull pipe out of the hole um, and he'll reach over and grab it and then rack it back. There he goes. You can kind of see. He'll rack it back into one of the finger fingers on the monkey board. So and you see the top drive then going down to grab another joint to pull out of the hole. So they must be tripping out a little bit before they go to cement, I think. So they're going to be latching on to the next joint and pulling it up up to the derrick man to rack back in the racks and the fingers on the monkey boards. All right, so they must have hooked onto the next joint and they're raising it. Again, kind of a hard angle. There it goes. 
bring in the next joint of pipe up. And you can see that cable is kind of flopping around right now. That's the cable, that's the line that goes up through all the pulleys on top and then runs down to the traveling block which the top drive is right below it. So the top drive is what turns, rotates the pipe and the traveling block is what holds the top drive. It's that yellow thing you can kind of see there at the top. Anyway, so now we're going to get to see hopefully the Eric Man work again. He'll have to reach over and grab it and then rack back that pipe. That's kind of hard to see at this angle. So what they're going to do basically uh, when they're tripping out of the hole is they'll raise, they'll go, to, they'll bring the top drive down and hook onto that, and they'll hook onto the pipe, and then they'll raise it to the top of the derrick, and then they'll unscrew the bottom joint so you have three joints in the derrick now, and then they'll swing that over into the monkey boards or the, the fingers on the monkey boards, and then they'll rack them back like you can see. And then they'll go down and grab the next, uh, go down and grab the pipe and then pull up another three stands. And of course, uh, when they go to disconnect, they have to set slips, which are basically teeth that grab the pipe so it doesn't fall down into the hole when they disconnect from it. And of course, when they trip into the hole, basically the same thing occurs. They use the pipe that's hopefully in their rack back in the monkey boards. So that way they can just trip faster, swing it over, connect, and then they run in the hole with it. So when a f rig first arrives on location, um, obviously they're not going to have all that pipe rack racked back already, so they're going to have to make up joints as they go. So it just slows them down a little bit. So instead of um, running three joints, uh, connecting three joints at a time, they have to connect one by one. So before cementing occurs, which I think is what they're getting ready to do, they're getting ready to cement probably their production casing, uh, just kind of been watching this uh, well I kind of have, have a good feel for probably where they're at in the process they're probably getting ready to finish this well in terms of drilling it so they probably TD'd the well meaning they reached their total depth and now they're pulling out uh, their drill string and their work string bringing it all back to surface that's what we were just seeing I think uh, bringing that all to surface and then they're going to get ready to run casing into the well and then of course they'll cement uh, behind their casing so they'll pump case their pump cement inside the casing down it'll YouTube out and then go up the outside of the casing. So I hope you learned a little bit in this video. Uh, never know what we're going to see. Um, I'll try and do more of these as I can as I go by sites like this that have something going on. I uh, appreciate you all checking this out and again if you want to learn more about cementing or parts of a rig or completions or fracking or production of a well or construction of a well pad really anything we cover all of this in our oilfield basics course so please be sure to check it out and if you like this video please go ahead and drop it a like drop us a comment anything share the video we appreciate all the help we can get and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one